Okay, so here's the Hound Ozzy, and it's time for the news and what we have. Oh. It just looks like a way four going down a little bit. That doesn't look like a turn. So, unfortunately, that doesn't look like the turn that I would prefer to see, which makes me wonder if it might now go up for the way five. But then the Euro Aussie also looks like it just rounded off a wave three. So when news comes out, and we're looking for a major turn. I would, I would like for it to be a major turn that's lined up with news. And if it's not, then, well, certainly the probability is less, but they're moving. So let me look at the Aussie US dollar. So that, the Aussie US dollar is a little bit more uh, conforming to something that would be an entry because, I guess say that's an ABC going down but it can't be an ABC going up at the top of a trend on the other ones. And, you know, it's turning at previous support. And the Aussie Swiss, that's just stretched out too much. It looks like, you know, the same thing as the Euro Aussie. It is the same thing as the Euro Aussie and just rounding off a wave three. And the pound Aussie really doesn't look right for a major turn. So don't be surprised if this just sits there and then goes sideways or continues back up because that would be the normal thing if it does that. So, oh man, I, I, I would have preferred that it looked better than this. The Aussie Canadian and the Aussie US dollar, I think, are the ones that look kind of the best. But if, if it's a real move on the Aussie, it'll, it should be a real move on all of them. And, oh, yeah, that's just, this is, oh, yeah, that's just totally the shape of a wave three. And you got the flag on a flagpole. Not ideal for going short. Even though there's news, you can get excited because there's news, but still, that's just not ideal at all.